Early John Smith's handicap chase is next up then. It's a three mile one furlong handicap chase, 0 to 160. The rain's coming down now as well. Uh, Castle Rock and Gogo for David Robertson is the top one. Denevo, Darren Thompson. Lateral thinking, Leon Van Rensburg, Knickerbocker Glory, Joshua Sutherland, Belgira Jude and Kyder Carla for James Shea. America, Paul O'Neill, Amelie Farley, Graham Clitterbuck, Hart Paces, Craig Allen. Orion, Craig Beckwith, Shadow Play, Daniel French, Native Apache for Graham Clutterbuck, Once Upon, Paul O'Neill, Serafina Cerise, Craig Allen, Vaoki, Thomas Rogers, Jafonian, Ryan Costello, and Lady Monarch, Alex Cherry. So 17 then in the rain, and away we go. Racing down towards the first fence in this first race after the Grand National. And they get down to the first of the 17, which they're all safely over. They never used to be jump racing after the Grand National back years ago in the 70s and I think into the 80s they just had flat racing after the Grand National and America and Serafina Cerise are disputing the lead with Orion back in third as they take the second as they're all safely over and Orion has just about gone on there by about a head but they sorted themselves out one or two of these quite wide on the track will be hoping to get a better position before the turn as they'll be giving up Quite a bit of ground on these sharp turns if they stay out that wide. Belgira, Jude and Vaoki look to be the two who are worst hit at the moment. Shadow plays also out that out wide. And Lady Monarch's just about the back marker, but they're over the first three without mishap and racing past the still packed stands and past the winning post then with two more circuits to go. And a Orion on the inside will come out of this turn with a clear lead because of the way the turn works and Orion is in front then now by a good length and starts to move away. A two length lead then from Serafina Cerise in second and America the first of the four greys is in third. Then comes Knickerbocker Glory on the inside in fourth with Jafonian and Kaida Kala. Then Native Apache Castle Rock and Gogo is the second of the greys. Then comes Shadow plays wide on the track. The third grey is Once Upon. The fourth one is Lady Monarch as they make their way towards the next. The back two are Denevo and Vaoki. I think Denevo was an early four in last week's Gold Cup, wasn't he? But it's Orion in the lead. And Serafina Cerise in second. Nickerbocker Glory on the inside is third. But it's almost a line of six of them sharing third at the moment as they take the fourth. Which they're all safely over. We see them racing away from us. Orion is clear by a good three or four. As they come to the next, he stood off that one leader, but still got over it okay. Denevo is just about the back marker now, but it's Orion in front, Nickerbocker Glory second, Hart paces and move through to third. Jafonian is up there with the leading group as well as they take the sixth, which they all get over again nicely. The one wide now is the Graham Clutterbuck horse, Amelie Farley, but it's Orion who is in the lead leads by two or three so they take the seventh which they're all safely over as well and Orion in front from Nickerbock and Roy lateral thinking has moved through nicely into third then a gap back to Shadow Play who's still quite wide on the track then Hart Paces and Kaida Carla with Jafoni in America has just dropped back a little bit but still leads the Battle of the Greys the back two are still Deneva and Amelie Farley as they take the eighth then Race back up the stand, up the, uh, race up the stand, race up the straight again there. So they're going to play jockey cam for a while and we'll flip from horse to horse on Belgira Jude at this point as we come to this next fence. And you can see that Belgira Jude jumped that one okay, so did Daoki and Amelie Farley at the back. Right back to a more traditional view. And Orion is still in the lead. Race past the chair then, the big screen. Fence will be the last on the next circuit. And they're all safely over it. Although Castle Rocker go go, the top weight is just beginning to find in a bit of a struggle under that big weight. And the ground may be softening up even more as well. But it's Orion in the lead then as they go out on the final circuit. So Orion's in the lead then. Hart Paces is second, and Nickerbocker Glory is third. Kaida Carla is four, and Jafonian is five. Belgira Jude is six, and then Serafina Cerise is seven. America is eight, and Native Apache is nine. Then Lateral Thinking, and Once Upon, and Vaoki. Denevo's getting a little bit closer. Then Shadow Play, Amelie Farley, Lady Monarch, and Castle Rocker Gogo -Go on the inside. And they're racing there down towards the next. They're racing down towards the final mile in this race shortly as well. Well, and Orion has had a pretty much undisputed lead throughout the race with Knickerbocker Glory chasing in second. Lateral thinking, who was 
right up there in third already goes drop right out the back as well so one or two of these running strange races but it's Orion and Knickerbocker Glory coming to the 11th and Orion made a real mess of that was looking to get away with it and he surrendered the lead to Knickerbocker Glory Back in third is Belgira Jude, then Kaida Carla and Hart Pace is native Apaches. They take the next, and again, wasn't foot perfect to run. He's dropped back to third now, but it's Knickerbocker Glory in the in the lead, coming down towards this next one. And this is the 13th, and over that one they go. And it's Knickerbocker Glory from Orion in second, then Belgira Jude, then Hart Pace is then America. Then after that one, Seraphina Cerise and Kaida Carla, native Apache, and then Once Upon, and then Jafonian. Denevo's trying to run on, so too's Daoki, but they're coming down at a four. 14th and they've just got three more to take after this one Jafonian nearly went there but it's Knickerbocker Glory in the lead Knickerbocker Glory from Orion in second Belgian Rejude is third then after that one Hart paces America's trying to stick on so too is Once Upon Kaida Kara native Apache Denevo still making ground as well as they race down towards then the final three furlongs and this is the third last and over that one they go and it's Knickerbocker Glory and immediately Farley's gone at the back it's Knickerbocker Glory in the lead from Belgian Rejude in second Orion is still there in third then America after that one, then comes Serafina Cerise and Native Apache once upon and then Hart Paces at the second last. And over that one they go and Knickerbocker Glory is still in the lead. The one that's coming out of the pack is America and forward at the back was Denevo. But it's Knickerbocker Glory in the lead from Belgira Jude in second. Then comes America. Orion is rolling all over the place. It's Knickerbocker Glory in the lead. Then Knickerbocker Glory racing there towards the final fence. Knickerbocker Glory looks like he's only going to jump it to win it. Skips over it nicely. Gets away from it well. Belgira Jude is chasing but he's not going to get close enough and and we race up towards the line. It's Knickerbocker Glory that's going to take it. Belgira Jude was second. Then Native Apache and Seraphina Cerise. And then once upon Castle Rock and Go Go ran through beaten horses. Well, Jafonian dropped out to be last. De Denevo fell for the second week running. And Knickerbocker Glory took it. Took it up on that final circuit when Orion made that mistake. And you can watch that replay again if you get the chance. Orion was rolling around all over the place towards the end. But Knickerbocker Glory, the winner for Joshua Sutherland and Belgira Jude for James Shea was second. Native Apache for Graham Clutterbuck third. Serafina Cerise for Craig Allen was fourth. Um, Paul O'Neill was fifth with America.